encoder in. In this video series, I'll be showing you how can we integrate payment gateway using PHP in any website. And uh, for this video series, I've used Stripe API, Stripe Payment Gateway. So before getting started into the entire uh, tutorial, first let's see how does it function. I've created some uh, catalog of laptops. So as soon as I check in, it shows me some information which I need to fill up. I'm giving a demo name and I'm giving some uh, address, giving a contact number. Okay. And uh, the product name and the price for which I've selected automatically comes here. And uh, when I pay with card, it asks me to give an email. Let's see. Just giving a demo email for this account. Now using a test card as it is a test account. Now giving a fake CVV number. Okay. As soon as I hit the pay button, it shows a green tick mark and my transaction gets successfully recorded. So in this series, we'll be talking about how can we integrate this thing, Stripe Payment Gateway, and make transaction with our website. Thank you. Let's see. Fine, guys. Uh, we'll be starting with the Stripe API integration in PHP. So before getting started with the Stripe PHP, we need to have an account. So I'll be starting you, starting from scratch. So I'm just considering one of my mail account. Okay. I'll be doing here a login account for this thing. So we have to go to the Stripe website. Just create a login account for this thing. I've given my name here. This is just for your validation work. Okay, showing the number of characters. Okay, fine. Now guys, your uh, Stripe account has been activated. It's the beta version, that is the test mode. Okay. okay fine. When you go to the uh, developers tool here. Let me go here. Okay, fine. There's no request. You can just see there is zero successful request. Okay. Now I'll be going to the API keys. As soon as you go to the API keys, this just for a demo purpose, you'll be getting this publishable key and the secret key. These two are the most important API keys used for Stripe API transaction. Okay guys, so I'll be logging out. I'll be using my previous profile for this thing. So let's say this is the account which I have created. Now, I'll, uh, in this uh, video tutorial, I'll not be showing you the design, how can you hover on the cards and it will come here. I'll be just showing you the integration of the Stripe Payment Gateway. So, as soon as I check this thing, you can just see another form have been displayed. There's a customer name, address, contact number along with the product name. There's the Pro Art Lenovo and the price has been come. So, in this thing, the pay with card will be considering the entire thing about the card details about the stripe payment api so let's get started this is the form the customer name address form this is the checkout.php form which i have given here and the action is checkout.charge.php it considered it is considered as the get request of the item name and the price so you can find the form right as soon as they click the button check in it redirects me to this checkout.php with all the form, all the design and what laptop with the price I am purchasing. So this is the form, this is the page which it is showing here and uh, the main thing inside the form which I have included is this script which itself tells about it that when I am going to pay for a particular thing it automatically goes to checkout.stripe.com, checkout.js and 
for this we need to give some attribute inside the source uh, tag that is the data key that is the publishable key the amount for which I am going to pay the name that is the product name or the item item name the description what is the description whether it is a laptop what kind of laptop it is the image of that particular product the currency in this case I am using INR that is Indian currency and local is auto you can give anything here local is auto this is the main thing of stripe payment gateway now as you can see here I have redirect this to checkout.charge.php that means that as soon as I click this as soon as I click this button it will automatically redirect me to checkout.charge.php okay now in checkout.charge.php, there is another file I have included here that is the config.php. This is the include config.php. Now I will show you what is there in config.php. I have um, initialized a file that is stripe.php master and I got this link from GitHub. If you will be uh, typing here stripe.php in uh, GitHub, you can download this file. And once you download, you extract the file in your XAM folder and you have to just write this command require once stripe.php init.php. That's all. And inside there, I've given some, I've considered a variable stripe details, and inside there, I've considered a publishable key and secret key, which I've told you earlier. How can you get this both keys, publishable and secret key? And from here, I've considered a namespace that is stripe of stripe set API key up. This is the secret key. Now I'm considering this. This is the include file, right? This include file I'm com considering in checkout.php. Now we just uncommenting this all thing. Now once uh, the pay card is processed, you'll be getting something known as Stripe token. This is the important because once a payment history get created or once uh, you charge a particular customer, this token validates itself by showing that this is the token for which I am going to be paid now other things is that I have already used some post method for getting all this thing so what is uh, stripe token type that is the card type or anything phone number stripe email and main thing is that another variable I created that is the charge this method tells us that we are charging a particular customer and I have used a create function already the end stripe account documentation you will find and I'm passing the amount, the description, the currency, and the source. That is the token. This both token must be matched. And if it is successful, it will uh, redirect to another page that is success.php. So let us first go to my uh, Stripe account. You can just see there is no payment has been made. So once I just click on the pay button, a payment successful button will be shown here. So let me start again. Suppose I am giving here Lenovo Slim 3. You can just say Lenovo Slim 3 have come. Just giving a demo name, right? Demo. Address demo. I am giving a contact number as. You can just see here. Okay. It have already come here. Contact number. Pay with card. Okay. It have come. The image have come. The product name have come. The description have come. Now I will be giving here mail id this is a demo mail id okay the card number this is the test card you'll be getting there in stripe account itself okay now you can enter anything here one two three okay this is the password as soon as i'm going to pay you can just see what is the information you'll be seeing here okay it comes here it is redirecting for custom payment ok let it refresh you can just see as soon as you refresh this page the payment has been succeeded and Lenovo Slim Slim this is the demo customer mail has already been loaded just see this and in there the page redirect to success, uh, success PHP and you will be getting this thing your transaction has been successfully completed okay so guys if you like my video please share and subscribe for more interesting videos and if you find there 
something needs to be done more just let me know in my comment i'll be always happy to help you all thank you